Hello guys, welcome back to Easy Own Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the Easy Own Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the hydraulics mechanics. So in this lecture, we are going to differentiate between the laminar flow and the turbulent flow. There are two main types of the flow depending on the movement of the particles of the fluid. So first of all, I will explain the main difference between these two types of flow and then I will describe their characteristics of each type of flow. So the liminar flow is a type of flow in which the particles of the fluid moves parallel to each other and moves aside of one another. If we look into the particles of the fluid, let's suppose this is any fluid and these arrows shows the direction of the particle of the fluid. So we can see here that they move parallel to each other and in the same direction. So they are not disturbing one another. So such type of flow is called as the liminar flow in which the particles move parallel to each other and are not crossing one another. While the other type of flow is the turbulent flow where the movement of the particles of the fluid is disturbing. We can see here that these particles are not moving parallel to each other but are crossing one another. So such type of flow is called as the turbulent flow. But there are also some other characteristics of this type of flow. So the first characteristic is the liminar flow is regular and smooth. While the turbulent flow is irregular flow. The second characteristic of the liminar flow is that the value of the Renault number, the value of Renault number is less than the 2000. And the null number is represented here by Re, which is equal to the rho V into D dividing by the mu. So, for the case of the liminar flow, the value of the Renault number should always be less than the 2000. While for the turbulent flow, the Renault number value should always be greater than the 4000. The third characteristic is So the third characteristic for the liminar flow is that it occurs in smaller diameter of pipe and flow at low velocity. So this will be the liminar flow if it occurs in the smaller diameter of pipe and always flow at a low velocity so we will have the liminar flow while for the turbulent flow So for the turbulent flow, it mostly occurs in the larger diameter of pipe and it flows at a high velocity. So we have more disturbance. So when we have more disturbance in our flow, we call it the turbulent flow. So this was the third characteristic of the these two types of the flow. The fourth characteristic of the liminar flow is that all the fluid layers of the liminar flow move parallel. All fluid So all the fluid layers move parallel in case of the liminar flow while in case of the turbulent flow the all fluid layers do not move parallel. So in case of the turbulent flow all the fluid layers should not be moved parallel but they should cross each other. Now what are the examples of the liminar and turbulent flow? So for the liminar flow the example is So for the liminar flow, the example is the flow through the pipe of uniform cross section. If we have pipe of uniform cross section and the fluid is flowing through it, so we call such type of flow is the liminar flow because the particles of the fluid will be parallel to each other and they will not cross each other. While in case of the turbulent flow, the particle should always disturb. So the example should be the flow in river at the time of flood can be example for the turbulent flow. So the flow in river at the time of flood can be a good example for the turbulent flow. This was the main, uh, these were the main characteristics and examples of the liminar and turbulent flow. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.